Crescent stretches 75 miles across East Texas, maroon buildings donning the name Trinity Mother Francis. Though you see them everywhere, you may not know how this hospital got its start. KTK's Marlena Hamilton brings you a little history about one of the most prestigious hospitals in the nation. East Texas was just starting to make a name for itself in the 1930s. The oil boom was in full effect and a lot of people were coming to this prosperous area for jobs. But something was missing in this up and coming Texas city. There were no hospitals. Some of the doctors, particularly one that I can say is a predecessor of Trinity Clinic, was called the Bryant Clinic. And they had 10 beds, but it was in the doctor's office. And that's about what was here for hospitals. Where does one look to even find the resources to start a hospital? It was a community project, uh, badly needed, but uh, they realized they didn't know how to run one. CEO and president of Trinity Mother Francis, Lindsay Bradley, says one of the physicians, Dr. Douglas, heard about a convent of sisters that were running hospitals around the Oklahoma border in Chicago, the sisters of the Holy Family of Nazareth. He wanted the religious order to run the hospital. Some of the community leaders got on a train, went to Chicago, and asked the sisters that were in Chicago if they could come and operate this new hospital in Tyler. Our proposal was accepted and was most promising, and uh, Dr. McDonald chose that we will sponsor the hospital. 16 sisters who were of Polish descent, including Blessed Mother Frances Szaliska, came to Tyler and helped Dr. McDonald and 19 other physicians open Mother Frances Hospital. The hospital, named after Mother Frances Szaliska, was set to open on March 19, 1937, a five-story hospital with 60 beds. But the day before, a tragedy struck that would shake the area for decades. All the dignitaries were going to come and they were going to be the ribbon cut and the celebrations, but tragically on that day before, on Friday, the school in New London had a, a very tragic explosion that killed hundreds of children and injured many, many people. The hospital was given a baptism of blood the day of its opening. It was dedicated to the blood of those kids from New London. Instead of an opening of cheers, treats, and celebrations, was welcomed by a horrific bloody explosion. The very next day, Bishop Joseph Lynch of Dallas did a simple dedication to the opening of the hospital. During the quiet ceremony, the bishop received a call. The person said, I'm real sorry you did not get to dedicate your hospital. The bishop's reply was, oh yes we did. We dedicated in the blood of those kids from New London. In appreciation for the hospital's service to the victims, the New London Museum dedicated a section just for Mother Francis Hospital. You don't talk about one without talking about the other. But this isn't the only tragedy the Sisters of the Holy Family of Nazareth had to cope with. During the Second World War, a group of sisters were in Poland was executed. Part of the same convent of the sisters who started Mother Francis were murdered by Nazis. July 1943, in a small Polish town, the Nazis made a mass arrest of 120 Polish men. The wives and sisters of these men went to Sister Mary Stella and 10 other sisters to ask for their prayers and support. But then they decided to make the ultimate sacrifice. Oh God, if sacrifice of life is needed, take it, our life, and spare the people who are incarcerated and waiting to be executed. On August 1st, 1943, the sisters were executed by the Nazis for the lives of 120 fathers, sons, and brothers. In 2000, Pope John Paul II canonized them as saints. Back in the United States, Mother Francis Hospital was prospering, and 77 years later, the Sisters of the Holy Family of Nazareth are still very much involved. When I came to interview in 1981, Mr. Weisenbaker looked at me and said, I want you to understand why this place is special. It's special because the sisters are here. Trinity Mother Francis is one of the best hospitals in the whole United States. And even though there are only four sisters still working at the hospital, the history of the Holy Family of Nazareth is still very much alive. 77 years later, they're still here and providing the love and commitment and support. Their example uh, should be an inspiration to all of us. We are strong. We are open to take care of people and uh, God's people. And we are so happy. Marlena Hamilton, KETK News.
And in 1995, Mother Francis Hospital integrated with Trinity Clinic. The board debated about starting fresh and giving the hospital a new name, but it was understood by all that there was a commitment to the founding sisters. Coming up, their 